Hey guys, haven't done a video for a while. Um, got some exciting stuff to show you. Uh, I've got uh, a few things I want to go through. Um, I'll just show you. I've got a body composition and cellular health analysis. Now, just for you and for me, I didn't just do it for, for, for YouTube. I, I did it for myself. I wanted to see exactly where my body was at um, on the vegan lifestyle. So I want to get some clarity for myself. I also want to get some clarity for all you people out there that um, are wanting to know what's happening with my body. Uh, it, was, it must be like around four or five months now that I've been vegan. Um, I'm also going to do my blood test. Now, I'm just going to show you. Now, it's not the best camera in the world, but we're just going to go through this very quickly. My latest blood test results. Now, I say latest, but it's actually from... Um, from the sixth month, so it's from last month, so I haven't really, I've got something to compare it to. See, the 7th of the 4th, 11, and 4th of the 6th, 12. So it's not very, not very good quality, this camera, but you'll be able to get some sort of understanding of what's, what's been happening. Meat eater, vegan, okay? So the one on the right is the vegan, Right, from a month ago. Okay, so here we go. So, sodium. 138, 142 now. And we're in range. 135 or 145. Fantastic. Next, potassium. Fuck! That should be through the roof, all those, all those bananas I've been eating. 2011, 4.1, 4.3. In range, 3.7 to 5.3, not a worry. Next, chloride. Chloride hasn't changed, 100, 100. So that is all fine. Okay. Uh, bicarbonate. Uh, a little bit higher, 34, but it's just a... It's no, no big drama. I asked, well, what, what's the matter there, Doc? And it's like, no, nothing to worry about. So, so range is 20 to 32. 134, it's nothing to worry about apparently. Uh, onion gap, onion gap, um, low means it will be less acidic, so if we go across, I was 11, now I'm 12, uh, ranges between 5 and 20, no problem. Um, urea, you want urea to be nice and low, you're pissing clear. 4, no, hang on. Yeah, four. Now it's three point four, and um, so it's two point five to eight, which, which is fine. Uh, creatinine. Um, uh, so we've got to expect the creatinine to, to to go up when I start going back to like well, I'm, well, I'm back at the gym now. So watch that go up. So bear with me because this um, shonky camera. Uh, so I'll tell you what it says there. Creatine. Uh, 68, it's now 62, so it's a little bit lower, a little bit lower now, so um, the the range of 55 to 110, we want to see that one go up just a little bit, if not uh, like a good chunk. Well, well, we'll go on to U8, U8, U8's fine, we'll go across, uh, U8, it was 0.32, now it's 2.9, one, no, sorry, one, uh, 0. 0.29. Um, you see the ranges there is um, 1.8 to 0.47, so it's in range. Um, calcium. Oh, I should be calcium deficient. I don't have any milk or dairy in my diet. Go across. Not a problem. Calcium 2.7 before 2.32. It's actually higher and it's in range. Uh, so, going down, we'll go down to um, uh, T protein, which is uh, your transferrin, uh, by, transferrin protein. Uh, it's in your blood. Where is it? There we go. Go across. And um, as you can see there, 77 before, 76 now. And it's in range between, between 60 and 82. Bang on. So, nothing problem there. 
Um, albumin is also to do with uh, protein in your blood. Albumin, so it was uh, 44, now it's 45 now, um, as you can see there, and, and it's in range, 35 to 50. A uh, globulin, fucking, fucking perfect, go across, globulin, uh, this is produced in your liver, 33 before, 31 now, between 20 and 39, which is in range. <coughs> um, uh, glucose, so oh, glucose should be through the roof, all those simple sugars I've been having, go across, 3.9 before, 4.4 now. Oh, still in range. Beautiful, beautiful glucose levels. Uh, cholesterol's always going to be low. Low fat, high carbohydrate diet. Was 4.6, now down to 3.9. Loving it, loving it. Uh, triglycerides. Triglycerides, 0.09 before, 1.3 now. As long as it's below 1.5, fantastic. And just to look at this, iron, iron, I don't, shouldn't be getting enough iron in my diet. I was deficient as a meat eater. 8.1. Now I'm 7, 27.7. Beautiful iron. And the, the range is 10 to 30. Um, getting plenty of iron on the vegan diet. Loving it. This is for my uh, red blood cell count and white blood cell count. So, my hemoglobin, this is iron in the blood. One, 150 before. No, oh, no, no. I haven't got it before and after. This is the first time I've got to test for this. So, it's 150 uh, between 130 and 180. Not loving it. Um, oh. Try and get this looking all right. Uh, this is, the next one's RBC, which is our red blood cell count at 5.37. Um, between 4.5, 6.5, no worries. Um, uh, look, this I could just go on about this all day, but here you go, there you go. I'll just leave it there for two seconds. Um, most of it is just some stuff. Uh, if, too, if you're not in range, like two lows, you're going to be anemic. But you just look at that. Most of that. Is fucking bang on or close to bang on everything in range. So, I like going anemic, all the other bullshit that you may have heard, all crap, um, and and everything is looking fantastic for the vegan. So yeah, that's the blood test results, guys. Um, hope you get something out of that, and I'm just gonna do another video very shortly on my body composition and cellular health analysis, which is quite interesting as well. All right, guys, catch up.